this episode, we will be discussing California Landlord Deadbolt Locks and Window Security. The California Civil Code, Chapter 2, Section 1941.3, requires the landlord or his or her agent of a building intended for human habitation to do all of the following regarding door and window security. Deadbolt Locks a landlord shall install and maintain an operable deadbolt lock on each main swinging entry door of a dwelling unit. The deadbolt lock shall be installed to the manufacturer's specifications and shall comply with state and local codes including, but not limited to, those provisions relating to fire and life safety and accessibility for the disabled. When in the locked position, the bolt shall extend a minimum of 13 sixteenths of an inch in length beyond the strike edge of the door and into the door jamb. Door Lock Exceptions This section shall not apply to horizontal sliding doors. Existing dead bolts of at least a half an inch in length shall satisfy the requirements. Existing locks with a thumb turn deadlock that have a strike plate attached to the door jamb and a latch bolt that is held in a vertical position by a guard bolt, a plunger, or an auxiliary mechanism is also satisfactory. These locks, however, shall be replaced with a deadbolt of at least 13 sixteenths of an inch in length the first time that the lock requires repair. Existing doors which cannot be equipped with deadbolt locks shall satisfy the requirements if the door is equipped with a metal strap affixed horizontally across the midsection of the door with a deadbolt which extends 13 sixteenths of an inch in length beyond the strike edge of the door into the door jamb. Other locks and security devices approved by an appropriate government agency as providing adequate security shall also satisfy the requirements of this section. Window Security a landlord shall install and maintain operable window security or locking devices for windows that are designed to be opened. Louvered windows, casement windows, and all other windows more than 12 feet vertically or 6 feet horizontally from the ground, a roof, or any other platform are excluded from this requirement. Exterior doors to common areas. A landlord must install locking mechanisms that comply with applicable fire and safety codes on the exterior doors that provide ingress or egress to common areas with access to dwelling units in multifamily developments. This paragraph does not require the installation of a door or gate where none exists as of 1998. Tenant Responsibility the tenant shall be responsible for notifying the owner or his or her agent when the tenant becomes aware of an inoperable door or window locking device in the dwelling unit. The landlord or his or her agent shall not be liable for a violation unless he or she fails to correct the violation within a reasonable time after he or she is notified or becomes aware of a deficiency. Remedies for Landlord Non-Compliance The rights and remedies of a tenant for a violation of this section by the landlord shall include those available pursuant to sections 1942, 1942.4, and 1942.5, an action for breach of contract, and an action for injunctive relief pursuant to section 526 of the Code of Civil Procedure. Additionally, a tenant may raise the landlord's violation as a defense against eviction after a default in rent. It is important to note this section shall not apply to any building which has been designated as historically significant by an appropriate local, state, or federal government jurisdiction. For additional laws and articles, visit AmericanLandlord.com.